Right, Fambu Lema bring warm greetings to Una from the media empire then and now. New way they talk to Una today, the 21st of May 2022. Now, my name is Prince Emil Koma, the anchor. For quite a while now, a lot of people have been asking about um, Supermed, another anchor. Um, just for repeat, because from the very beginning, we've been saying Supermed is on holidays, and Supermed is on holidays, with the hopes they will return within the next two weeks. And also, most of Una express expressed concern. So today on the program, we then call Inside Salon today. You've been doing a marvelous interview with Honorable former APC Minister and NAC member, Kemo CC. And at that interview, they will take place on the 21st of um, February 2022, at the beginning of this year. Now we they repeat today. It was a massive interview and um, it went viral on social media. So we want to repeat this interview today for the benefit of Sierra Leoneans then. Thank you so much. Um, and here it is. We go can hear from this man himself. This man is a patriot. Now, possibly elect like people. We don't see plenty, plenty things them. What he don't do. Now, possibly we don't need governance. So many issues them. We're going to talk about today. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the benefit of all Sierraleans, we want to let this particular program go fire. We'll get thousands and thousands. Subsequently, tens of thousands of people them. We will listen and hear this interview. So, ladies and gentlemen. Fellow Sierra Leoneans are the, are the original all. When I please all press that share button, Lord begin for share the program immediately. Today, we're going to have a fine Sierra Leonean. I will describe this man as a fine Sierra Leonean. Now, man, people always sabi and they sabi. So, we're not going to talk plenty. We always use them once in the day. And um, so, they will keep chipping them small. But some people always sabi, they sabi. And this man is a very key stakeholder Now the APC party. So, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Sierra Leoneans, when I join me, please don't welcome Honorable Alaji Ibrahim Kemosi. Honorable Ibrahim Kemosi, you're welcome to the program, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Kamara. And thank you for inviting me to this program. I'm all yours. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, again, uh, we want to say on behalf of this particular platform, the Dana Media Empire, we're very grateful. For what you take your busy your time off your busy schedule for joining me today and i believe say most of our viewers them and listeners themselves very grateful and really really happy that they will hear it from you directly today so boku boku talk now over the rumors them the social media innuendos them and the, all kinds of things today would they talk about them and um really really we know this platform they call the tell no more not platform for all sale unions we're very very grateful Forget people like they were outstanding and um, personality people like they were also like the honorable Kemosi say for joining at the platform today. Um, before I go any further, honorable Kemosi say, I want to please give you a, a brief background of yourself for the benefits of people um, who don't know much about you, sir. Well, thank you very much, Mohammed, for the opportunity. I begin by calling my correct name. My name is Alhaji Ibrahim Kemosi, the Honorable. Well, me and I born of Putloko, Bakeloko chiefdom, precisely Sindugu section. Me a son of Alhaji Kemoko Sisi and Haja Hawa Kanu. I am a fourth of 22 siblings, one late. We are now 21 and we are a Muslim background. Now I am born to a very poor family. I was born in a thatched house in Sindugu. And then I attend the DEC school, Putloko, now old Putloko, about three miles from the house to the school, Tofru. Simply because that was the only affordable school for my parents then, because my daddy they teach Arabic day. Then from there, I go to secondary school to the college secondary school, Cambia, and then later, government secondary school for boys. From there, I go immediately to Putloko go teach na Putloko Catholic School for two years, and then come back for Ghana for big college and study pure and applied science, specifically chemistry, zoology, and botany. When I graduate, I go back, I go teach at the Amadea Secondary School. I teach chemistry and biology. And later, I proceed in the United States of America 
I go do postgraduate studies in biochemistry. In the year 1995, I get a call into politics. So I come back in the saloon and serve in the Sierra Leone Parliament from 1996 to 2007 inclusive. Concurrently, I also serve in the Pan-African Parliament from 2000, and two, 2000 to 2007 for seven years. And then from 2007 to 2017, I was a minister of government in the cabinet of President Anes Baikoruma. I served there as a minister of transport and aviation, special advice to president, minister of political and public affairs, and then the late two th last years of the government, I served as the Minister of Works, Housing, and Infrastructure. And then after 2007, I have now lived a private life in Sierra Leone. First, I went to the United Kingdom and then come back to Gambia and then Freetown. So briefly, that is the background of Alaji Ibrahim Kemosise. Wow, thank you very much, um, Alaji Ibrahim Kemosise. And, um, I failed for also mention, say, you know, be a former flag bearer and I, I get to know, say, the current aspiring flag bearer for the APC party as well. Is, am I correct, sir? Well, first of all, bless your heart. Thank you very much. You are absolutely right. 2000 and last 18 election, I was a flag bearer aspirant. And then, and then, Currently, I have not, I have not declared, I have not declared yet openly, but it is now an open secret. It is now an open secret that I am an intending flag bearer for the 2023 general elections. So you're right. Thank you very much, sir. It's, it's nice for us to have those clarification out of the way, sir. And again, you are a very, very accomplished person in terms of um, your um, political um, career in Sierra Leone. Like, you, know, you don't serve in a parliament, you don't serve in a different ministerial positions. Um, and um, a key, a very, very important key stakeholder in the APC party. Now, one thing be happened, I think that the time we will be Minister of um, Transport and Aviation, when most people um, get Yangu Mosley in a social media, Say there was a cocaine scandal that came up where they say you name be mentioned there. So, what make you help we for let like you clarify for what will be happen, what will be take place, and how that particular case will be conclude for the benefit of all them people that talk like almost in the social media? Indeed, there was a very serious <laughs> cocaine issue in Sierra Leone, the time I will serve as the Minister of Transport and Aviation. And let me begin by saying this. Now me capture the cocaine plane in the literal sense of capture. Now on a very good Monday, is that the president, Dr. Nesbai Kuruma, called me in my office. He tell me, say, come on, <clears throat> do you know that there are people trafficking cocaine through Sierra Leone? I said, of course, I don't know. And then he said, okay, hold a minute. He showed me pictures of people bringing cocaine and calling them paperboard. And then he showed me pictures of people trafficking cocaine through the ferry with the church. Well, I see the people, them, I see the, the, the pickup van, I see the cocaine and the Moscow. And the Moscow. Then he tell me, say, I am giving this information to you as my own minister in confidence. Our target is to make sure that we stop trafficking cocaine in Sierra Leone. Now, doctor, doctor, as the grandma tell me, is living witness. I said, okay, no problem. Don't discuss with anybody. I said, okay, sir. I must confess, when I go to the office, I call the deputy minister then, Mr. Ali Mamoudou Paso. I call the PS, Mr. Abraman Wuri. I call the GNI airport. Then three alone. I tell them the same to your president, tell me, I said, gentlemen, this is what is going on in our airport right now. So, but then we must catch this, these people. So nobody for keep out. Fortunately for me, the PS has been taking minutes of that meeting day. So scatter. So I did not tell anybody again. And then he tell me, say, in the go Gambia on a Friday, and he no say 
the cocaine plane they come on a Sunday. It has now left uh, Venezuela en route DRC and then Cana Sierra Leone Freetown International Airport. So for Kitchen, okay, thank you, sir. So the President Koroma left that Friday. He went to the Gambia. Sunday, because the GM know, me know, but so know, I did sleep almost 12 o'clock. I didn't have it. One o'clock, then the phone ring at Africa. Then the GM said, Mr. Minister, the plane is now trying to land. Now that I grab, I call one Italian guy, then call him Mr. Ziff Morgestan. I say, Ziff, please help me out. He said, what do you want? I said, I want to fly over to, to Lunge. He get a helicopter. He give me the helicopter. That next day, I go now to the hotel. I meet and he grab the, he get him pilot them. And he go to work for go join the helicopter. Then I meet up two of President Kuruma in bodyguards them. One of them is late today, and the other one is still alive. He did, then call him Polisha. I don't forget, answer your name. Now we all go on Lungi, they only phone them. So we go on Lungi, we meet the plate, actually they don't land. Then I instruct the GMC, bring in the fire engine and block us, so you know, we took off again. We got plenty of device. So the GM go instruct the driver, then pull the fire engine, then drive on towards the plane, by turn and block them, the pilot they're away, they're all gonna push. Then they will catch them, take them go. So we'll capture the plane. Early morning Sunday, President Kroma meets me there. Where you say he meets me, now they call again the director of operations and the police, then call him Mr. Munu. Now he say, Munu, any security work can most say once for this investigation. Yeah. Then it was David Kiru, he's still alive. He said, Mr. Finance Minister, any amount of money of transport ministry for this investigation, support them. We have to find out this community as say. So President Lefou, I might come, then come, we'll confiscate the plane, we'll confiscate the, 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 the cocaine bags them. And President Kroma say, no, give them the bags them to IMAX. We'll give it to them. They will start an investigation. In the investigation, we brought in the FBI, SOCA, that is Special Organized Crime Agency, MI5, and drug uh, something from America, then come, they all come an investigation. Then the investigation, it came to a point, we were saying, came more involved. So President Kuruma called me now one night in my house. When I went to his house in that night, around 12 midnight, I met President Kuruma, Pajay Ilivas, DF Shias, Dr. Samura Kamara, and uh, uh, Edmond Kuruma, they did, they left for good. Now they will go inside, I love them, they say, come on. Between me, you, and Allah, we ain't calling God. What in me, I used to be in any way, in this case. And I said, well, I say, Chi, what else could I know? I said, that's been nothing. Now, what did he tell me? Now I walk on. I didn't know what was happening. I said, hey, why was this question? And then on Monday now, he called me in my office. We were going to our office, that they call late Seri Kamal. He was the Antonio General Minister of Justice. Now then they also called Kosanfa Kuruma, he was sent to president. Then me. So we first start in his office as president. He said, he said, Kemal, I don't call you back this morning. He said, are you sure? That whatever me and Eskuruma tell you about the Queen I say, please, sir. I said, I don't have to be nothing beyond that. If I have a jubilee, say, I don't succeed for the Queen of Then he said, sure. Now I say, yes, sir. Now he say, he say, okay, what I want you do, I want you to resign or investigate this matter. I say, ah. I say, Echi, now you get some deal, you don't get. So this is what you want to say. You suck. Now they say, come out say, Mr. President. Now I say, yes. He said, me, Abdul Franklin, said, come on, me a lawyer, professional lawyer. He said, if I not get evidence, who will make me charge Kemal and commit him? I begin to turn now. I'm not going to charge him. I need to have evidence to show that he's involved. Now, I'm going to say, Mr. President, this is not a very fine young politician. Let me get my adoption for you. Believe me, Mohammed, I was baffled. I don't even know what he was, what he was talking about. Demaya. So I was like that, say, but President Obama was insistent. Now, you know, I said, you know, when I believe what you believe. Now I said, okay, well, step aside. I said, no, 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 no. You step me aside. That is what we have you guys, okay, well, to allow unfettered access to you for investigation, I will step you aside. If we find out you are not involved, we take back your job. Now I said, fine. By the time I left State House, I can't have the office now. The press is on commercial. 
Honorable Kemosi has been stepped aside to allow unfettered access to him for the investigation of the green case. Fine, how can I was? So when I come home, investigation go on, go on, go on, go on. You know what believe? In order to the suspicion, they said in my call law, there was a call from one of the cocaine traffickers, which I didn't even pick because I didn't talk to the person. Like, I never get my phone. My phone be in the hands of Ernest, one of uh, President Kuruma in security, and then uh, this, this uh, guy called uh, Punisher. And I didn't get, get the phone. So I didn't even talk to the phone. So over and over, my lawyer was uh, at the Williams. Now that we go by the investigation, there was FBI, Drug Enforcement Agency, Special Organized Crime Agents, MI5, they all. They asked me questions. All the questions were just centered around this phone call, phone call. I know you must have the phone number. I know you must have the phone number. I know you must have the phone number. I know you must have the house. They strip search my house. That time, we have not been in America. Search everything, take me to in computer, me two phones them, take one of my party in phone, then get and go England for further forensic investigation. They flew the phones with some salon policemen in Guna, England. They investigated these phones, my computers, my hard drive, and everything. And then after four months of investigation, they bring them back, they never back to me. They came back the phone, then they give everything back. They say it was not of any interest to the investigation. Now, I mean, and she tell me, say, Kemo, then see how they give you, so give it now. Now, as you know, I'm telling you, sorry, keep them away. So I kept them, I still have them. I don't give nobody, I keep them, this is their souvenir. Then after that, the case continue, 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 play right, right, right. All kind of insinuations, all kind of lie, lie, all kind of this, this, this. But as we speak, I still have never spoken to any of those guys that came with the cocaine from Venezuela. I don't know them, they don't know me. Because once I did an investigation, the man came, I think a police tactics, FBI, I don't know. I was right in the table with the investigator, the white man, they talked to me. I did that other white man come pass. So the man passed, and I didn't recognize myself. The man said, recognize me, go. Now here, I will say, I can not see you, I know. Then we won't find out if they ever see this man before. But this man will see, you know, so that's why the man never pressure to you. Well, I call it out to him. So you don't know. And then after that, what happened now? I was very, very much stressed. You know, just say, eh, me, can most you say, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't have nothing. Why me? I did pan and say, my brother, I had a stroke attack. Well, I, know they, I don't get pressure, I don't get diabetes, I don't get cholesterol. I speak to you. I don't get nothing like that. No pressure, no diabetes, no cholesterol. I eat everything in life. I don't take my medication. Then I get a stroke, boom. It was then called a hemorrhage. Blood, bleeding because of stress. So I was flown to Abuja. I went to Abuja. Then 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 Luckily and luckily and luckily for me, there was a military ambulance plane in Senegal under the uh, governance of uh, uh, President uh, uh, Senegal. President uh, what? Berhan, apply what? Then that time, President Kuroma was his blue eyed boy. So President Kuroma called him to say, I have a very young man here, I wouldn't suffer stroke, maybe if they fly, I just got to die. Low in Rogue Bridge. What for one? I say, hey, Anthony, apply what in doctor, Dr. Wadi Bindewita. And I say, Ipa. He say, as we speak, there's an ambulance unused in the military plane. We can use it. That was how I was saved. Now the plane can't take me now. So plane to go to Senegal, took four days to Senegal, went to France, did a surgery in my head, aspirated the blood from my brain, and then I was able to survive. So this is what happened with cocaine. And I can tell you, as we speak, cocaine is a big, big crime. Where they kill people, they cause trouble in the world. You cannot close it down. It's an open investigation. I speak to you. Anybody will get serious evidence for say Kemo was directly involved or you not know, take action or take, take place. You are obliged to talk to report to the police. Otherwise, you are doing disservice to the country. And further to that, I have a report here. It is in the office now. I'm not going to expect people to ask me. I'm going to put them on the table. But if you give me time, I will look for them. A complete investigation document from the table of the plain take to the conviction of the one who guilty. I get to complete those There is nothing like a most involved in any threat. So I have the records here. That is why I've never continued anybody talks about cooking, 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 because my question is clear. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, um, Honorable Kemosi. And that particular uh, response we don't give, so I believe, say, 
they don't go a long way for clarify this particular issue. You know, because of this particular program, ladies and gentlemen, you are the number. I love double. I love continue for share. I love continue for share because what's in the, uh, the honorable girl for talk so is very, very interesting. I believe say, most Sierra Leoneans and go one year in this particular interview because um, it, the revelation has been great. Plenty of people, um, the rumors all year, the people in windows them, the suspicions them, we don't, we don't can hear it directly from the, minister, the former minister himself, Honorable Kemosi say. It don't explain to so us literally what's in the happen, what's in the past. So please, please, ladies and gentlemen, we allow we continue for share. We could get plenty of people who go watch this program live. I know say by tomorrow, probably you will only get up to 20,000 views. We go watch this program here so live. Make them say go get the, this information directly from Honorable Kemosi himself. Because Boku Boku allegation them, Boku Boku in windows them, suspicion them, stereotype, all kinds of things that don't happen in social media. But until the again, I the minister says, say, say, I believe say this don't go a long way for clarify this particular topic. And we know this program here, yeah, we know this platform. We do always make sure say we ask the critical questions then. Where would no one know? No one know what's the happen, what's it be happen. You know, people they want a public figure then, people they will potentially get the way to go for lead with that country. They find for a lot of we will, um, you know, ask them key questions. They ask them, we will get all the relevant answers they ask them. And I believe. The respond where Honorable Kimo Selongui, he really, really wholehearted. It took him minutes for them to explain exactly all what happened. Say he can get that, um, that attack day. And we tell God, thank you, God be able to save and protect him. I feel like today, he able to talk him. He able to explain to we all what happened. So this is very, very important, very, very important interview, ladies and gentlemen. We know we continue to share this interview. And again, Honorable Kimo Sisi, very, very important when you ex because you know that potential somebody way right that you can think of maybe you go, you go throw your hats for the race for the uh, flag bearer compatible leader for the apc 2023 presidential election and the question is no more you know you, you can't get, get this coke attack where most of people um, were critical about you where things say oh this person of the leader for um apc flag bearer ship now the question is they ask, they say, well, can say no way, no way will be leader. What do you say to that, sir? <laughs> well, first of all, again, thank you, Mr. Kamara. I think you have been very helpful to the country and the world at large. Number one, first, I am going to be very plain with you. Me and you and nobody on the world has You hear me? People in the Waka jump, jump, man, I bomb me for a ride. But you know, they always be there. Have you said so? Now, the one who sick, believe me, in the hospital. And for what I want, I have investigated myself internally first to see if I'm physically and medically fit. And I've come to the conclusion that I am physically, medically, and mentally fit. What do I mean? I have the five senses, mentally, correct. Physically, there is no physical job where a president they do, women able do. What do I mean? I have never seen a president go for the contest of boxing or climb on three or do 100 meters or do pole vault. No, it is about your head, your faculty, and your mindset, your mind for your people. Not important. Having said so, I have justified that to the public of Sri by serving as a minister of political and public affairs, a minister of works as an infrastructure, wherein I traversed Sierra Leone in make, making roads physically so therefore knowing very well that the president you ask us a degree chair for you know one grab open the board for you i never for clean pantry i never for another meters i never for the pole vault all i have to do is think and think right have the mindset good mind for the people of sierra leone and then the country at large that is set my brother plus if i am not able to work it's one thing but first of all i said i work a fine pass me but i don't work why they fly me plane and they fly go by myself I come back by myself and again nobody for me for coming with me time so it's not about a physical challenge i don't have a physical challenge that will liberate me from serving as a president no and i i am not at the top at the right and they do everything independently that being said it must be known that even if you are physically disabled not your inability so therefore the challenges that are in for a presidency, I can meet them. 
Now, what you have worried people should have been this. Hey, this is why I get pressure. Let no can get stroke back. Oh, this is why I get cholesterol. But my records are very clean, they are here. Besides the point, it is your mind. I have investigated myself. I have interviewed myself. I am convinced I have won myself introspectively that I have what it takes to be a head of state of Sierra Leone and I can deliver. So it's not, it's just a reason. People give it as a reason not to support you while they don't say you get the experience, you get the capacity, you get the, the exposure. But no one supposed to say, no way. Well, if I have to do poll votes, I'll appoint my deputy to go and do poll votes. But it's not an excuse at all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much once more again. Um, Honorable Raji, um, Abraham came to say, because that particular response is very, very solid. And disability is a, it's not an inability. It no matter at all. But when people like you talk, and I make with a brain calm on this platform, no, it's okay. Okay. Questioning it. definitely, for as far as me is concerned, like when you say no more, presidents, no one they see presidents, we go fetch boxing. Presidents, we go 100 meters per country. And no one they happen. Now, what is that you mind? What you think I, the love you get for your people? If you don't show I me, mean, you're capable of doing it. I think you're 100% capable. And we all man, they say, I mean, I think there is no doubt about that. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not continue for share. Very, very interesting interview. Today we get Honorable Alaji Ibrahim Kemosi Senayaso, where they give you some succinct answers then. Very, very excellent response then. And we appreciate them greatly. I believe say, most of you now today, and most of you in this particular platform today, don't learn something they will not be know about. What will they pass and talk about? The, the, the Honorable Kemosi say, instead of don't care, they can't fly fire. Which is very good. Now that's what they follow this platform. We they ask the question them, we allow the guests to mail it. Many clarify, many say one or two things um, where people will know exactly what is an impression. So I hope say we all don't benefit from them. Um, and we continue for share. Let the number double one get into 500,000 of people who watch this particular program live and probably 20 or tens of thousands um, later. Honorable Kemosi say, as a potential uh, flag bearer of the APC, as a potential flag bearer of the APC, and also a former minister of the previous administration. Under the, the auspices or the, the leadership of the former president, Dr. Anes Baikoma, and the key stakeholder at this political party, one the APC party, what are you going to do for resolve the challenges and the, the different issues that the party they face right now? For you, Thank you very much. Party, it's a very important question. Absolutely, for unite the party so that the party go in a better position going forward for the 2023 presidential elections. Thank you very much, Mr. Kamara, once more. To begin with, anybody won't tell you, say, APC no day at crossroads is lying. And anybody will tell you, say, APC the election 2023 sacrosanct is a liar. There's a lot of work to be done. We we'll have to come together as a united party. Now, it's unfortunate that the question you asked me is, what you will do for the exotic problem? And we should have said, what have you done? General you know, answer that one and come to what I will do. And before you go and ask me, I'll offer to you three gifts. Okay. What I have done, <laughs> when I left Sierra Leone after I lost elections, I went to the United Kingdom, and then there was supposed to be a convention at Salon on the 10th and 12th of December. I packed up to come to Sierra Leone. Before I left Freetown, uh, London Heathrow Airport, and tell me, say, there is going to be an injunction. So, so I, said, I said, NRM, don't care ABC partner courts. And then what did I do? My first I'll be a joke. I said, ah, National Reformation Movement. Now for the country, not for APC, let reform the country, let me give a message with us. I said, let's joke. Let's joke with the joke. Then I caught and I said, but let me go. National movement means reforming the country because the country is nation. Now I said, hey, look, actually, people are now saying, don't give injunction. So I asked, to cancel my friend, because me 150 pounds, I not come. So when I come, as I come to the airport, the first person who I call is President Kuruma. Now he say, aha, come right now. Now I say, please, sir, let I reach home. And they go see me, but they learn me for the reason I was to me. After that, they can't make any. So I went to make any directly. Now I say, please, sir, I say, I want to get out. I say, they're an army around there, so let us not, not ignore them all. They're an albatross that will throw it. Let us make sure they get out of court. Now he said, can we able to talk to the SEPA? I will try. He will try. He will try. He will try. He said, go try. He said, go try. Then once I left McKinney, I came. I don't stop it. 
Ago na bigo basai oje ni yele. Let us sit down. Now there one man come with me. He can follow Clara. Now he clear me. Now he go. Now he agba a dispense. If agba ke mo sabi this man. Now say no, not to mandem. Now say to mandem na mo. Say na 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 share it down. Now say if they don't go court. Now say na say share it down. Why why na he come? Now say if na na go court. Now he say agba he agba say okay now. Now he na one come back. In him in him that they all they are lying. In him that he that. I say if you know na go na court. Then one him pick up. Now say okay. I want you now three this night. They be the friend because I'm saying I hear one thing. Now you know we're not house. So they came to me the following day. We had a meeting and tell me what happened. What you make the girl put? I say, hey, bo, we na forang kalau talk. Now they say, pa, nobody no one talk to me. Nobody no one. See, as you talk to yourself, even the constitution will not get her. Now she will lie. Now she will not sue. Now I pick the phone. Now I call President Bruma. I say, Mr. President, I say like I tell you, a day arise now with Sheridan, Bikan, and Dadida. They say. They never ask the question. I say, is that what I say? Yes. Now I say, okay, put the phone, now put the phone down. Now in the park, call the Secretary General. We want to respond for this, and I like to respond for this. Now I tell her, now I like to call me, say, the person who sent for you to stop the phone, I say, yes, he sent them to me. Now I have four answers. Then tell me, say, the first time I wouldn't get her. You understand? Now I begin to talk, and I say, but look, gentlemen, what do you want? Now I say, okay, let's put this all in the Constitution. It's all good. Now reform. Anybody who knows why reform is not progressive. Anybody who knows why reform is not progressive. Anybody who progress, you want reform. Yeah, change now. Democracy. So we supported the, the reforms, then change the constitution. You know what they want. So I begin to talk to them. And I say, as you speak, up to yesterday, I did panel them from court. And I can inform you that they have withdrawn in the persons of Minkailu Kuruma and Kofi. They're not, they're not discussing the interest in the case. Monday, the judge they call the case. I mean, they call the case. Guess what? The principal. Uh, plaintiff owner Minka will must pull interest. Go for a pull interest. Now I'm going to post a letter. Let me say right now. In Poland, a boom there. We don't know what side they. We don't know what is supposed to do. But let left. Let him angry. Let him go now. Let us see. What is the judge going to do? Tell us. If the two men they don't come out, the principal don't come out. Let the judge tell us. So that is one thing. And I've also been going around talking to elders of the parish to come and intervene. I visited Captain Bangura. I visited uh, 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 Captain Spin. I visited Reverend Yasane, I visited Kotaibi, I visited Abraham, plenty big man. And they go offend them. I say, you know what? We are not sitting down, we call lot of. So that's what I've been doing. And what I'll do is, I will also have a group that will call ourselves <coughs> to talk to ourselves, to see reason, to have a healthy competition. We all have interest them all. In fact, the non brand is they call the big six. Kemos is Petitu, Kefala Mara. Richard Conte, uh, Paolo Conte, Caloco, in America. They call the big six. But they give them also give Sheffield. But the, is, the interest is that we must all fight a very healthy fight. Democratically, all we want is a democratic level playing field, fair for everybody, credible process. That we want. We know we're not going to go and talk, say, they don't form a team for comfort. No, we've been calling people to join us. We invite people to join us. Some don't come. When those are coming with us now. So, that's what I've been doing, and that's what I will do. And I'll make sure that I'll continue. For example, I can tell you in very strong terms, no certain terms, that I get family in Apoloko, I get Pule. But I have never allowed anyone at any point for retaliate for me. Whether person it cost me, I don't care it cost me. I tell and say, if that person it cost me, you cost the person you say, let me disrespect. Don't do that. That's also, I don't agree. It, it, and they as late as today, they cost me. But I've never told my guys, it's easy. The old man get phone, the old man get voice, he make voice notes, he cost other person, he cost play. I said, no, no, no. That's not healthy. What if I don't cost for me so today, tomorrow I become flag bearer, I would go fed for that. So don't touch it, don't revenge. They say, hey, it's fire, so you like Muslim, you're not a Muslim, you know, so. I am not unaware of the fact that in real values as Muslims, we beg my and papa, it's even in the Bible. In the Bible, the sixth commandment say, honor thy father and thy mother. No play with it. After God, after Christ, that them. In the Quran, it says, Wa'ati ula, wa'ati urasul, wa'udun amri minkum. The Quran say, after you worship Allah, respect the messenger prophet and then the mamai papa for respect them. So therefore, we take that very serious. But the fact that it means that, if person calls mama, Mr. Mama, calls mama, calls mama, calls mama, the same crime we commit to all himself himself commit. So therefore, we don't agree. Instead, we tell people and say, don't revenge. Keep cool. If you want to promote me, promote me good qualities. No cost, nobody. Because we're all in the same party. 
So we are working on that truth. We are trying to bring peace. And as we speak, by God in power, Monday, the court case could become irrelevant. Now, people will say, what about, uh, what is his name? Alfred something. Alfred. Alfred P. Conte. Okay. Alfred P. Conte. I mean, they provoke Paolo what they say. The man I know Paolo Conte. But be a Peter, he pin a Peter. In the case. But for me, I'm not a lawyer. But the fact still remains that you don't take the APC party in a court for say the executive relevance. Okay, fine and good. If the matter come on a court, we'll get elections. It's of no consequence. That's all peace. But then it must be not only on Kemo alone, it's but everybody, particularly flag bearers, who must be able to talk to our people. Because now they say, now they listen to say, hey, don't insult this man. If you insult him, you don't insult him. So going forward, we must ensure that the party break ranks, come together as one, and no underestimate the fight ahead of us. The leadership is more responsible. The leadership is more responsible. Let me tell you something. I'll be blunt with you here. The most possible brief person I have to now president and his by Roma. Why do I say so? He enjoy luxury of people listening to him to the let a popular steel, he get they talk to people in the area, and people that respect them. Let use them for let people left on cost and complain and come together. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much once more again, Honorable Kemosi, for that excellent response. And I believe say, the chairman and leader interested in listening to the interview there. And he said, well, maybe um, listen to that advice there, which is, I think it's a very good advice. And again, this question we don't answer, so you don't almost answer the second question about Angopa, because obviously the rumors, they will be the get with the, your connection with NRM, you don't clarify how all things they happen. I make that interview that like, good. So you talk to the person directly, then it able to reveal what in people and the rumors where they go about. And uh, I believe say most of me will listen as them. And people look for subsequent they listen to this program yesterday. Don't get them from yourself. You don't clarify some big, big issues in there. So, so ladies and gentlemen at the chat room, do we allow we continue for double the numbers then? Don't we double? I think we we'll go over 200 now, don't make them 400, 500, and subsequent, I believe say. 20, 30, or 40,000 people that will listen to this interview today, or they conduct so now. So, very, very interesting interview. And um, the Honorable Kemosi say, We, at this platform, get the opportunity, we come to the answer the question, and in the answer the question, we give them the time and they explain to we clearly. I believe say, most people they don't understand what thing they go on, what they not be understand, what to be, you know, more, all the rumors, they know social media, I can go know, but sometimes they back, they lie, 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 social media, I can plenty. So we we really grateful to you, Honorable Kemosi. Say, Honorable Kemosi, one of the other questions all people they ask now this platform they say, why should the APC party choose Honorable Kemosi say as their presidential candidate for the 2023 presidential elections? All right. Well, first of all, put it this way: Why should APC people elect Honorable Kemosi as a flag bearer? That should be a question. Yes. Thank you very much. Having said so, I just told. You know now by no I know now see minister. That is that's a good I don't get the political experience. Now, plus I have a base in the districts of Putlock or district, and I'm not a stranger in any district alone. I don't say oh, there is no district or town where they go say, and we can most see come in the can most see that band from Puloko. You know, we have five people who don't know what to say. If you see what Sabi can say, either it is anti APC or not Salonia. But when it's that we're going to say, what are you? And then, besides the, beside the base, I am also a grassroots in the strict sense of people living with people to lead them, not to lead them from the, from the nose. People, my people from Putloko in the APC party you know that say, I am the man who is everybody's friend. Why? I'll give you the answer simply because nobody that is already with them born better person in company, Mohammed. We all them born with the same way. Now, God no more say today, you can also say, I didn't make you minister. There is nobody on the face of the earth where they find pleasure for be poor. Nobody where they enjoy for be poor. Nobody where they enjoy for be without power. Nobody wants, but now God they choose. Therefore, if that be the case, you must, you owe it to Almighty Allah for respect the old God, no give the position will give you. By making sure you serve them as if they would have been you. And also, the political expertise goes beyond just talking at parliament. So if you deny I'm putting a problem with anybody, with an SP man, 
I can deliver. I have delivered. I have shown it. You know, people say again, what you get for do? Just say what you can do. As a member of parliament, as a minister of government, as a grass politician, as an MP, Mr. Kamara, I am the only and still the only member of parliament who don't create a law as a private mission for transparency and accountability. If you don't know now, go to the eyes of parliament. Time there was parliamentary committee meetings now in camera. Nobody is here. I make the private motion bill, but make sure say when parliament they meet, I don't have look. When the parliament they interview members of uh, government, I don't have a look. Let me pass that bill to parliament. Besides that, go and check the answers of parliament and see what Kemo did as a parliamentarian. Then number three, I also tell you there was a time when there was one guy who was an albatross in the government of Salon Pakaba. We don't call for this uncle. That Monday morning, Salon the make him equal to vice president. I was one of the persons who moved to the parliament for go tell and say enough is enough. Late Elizabeth Lavalli, today Minister of Labor, Alpha Timbo, creator of Sirachi. Now, who did it? Late, uh, this morning, I believe, I'm going to move. But I'm going to stop now, Syria, I'm going to go to my house. So I've done this in parliament and in cabinet also. I've done it. Believe you me, I am the first minister of transport in less than one year. I make the law of civil aviation authority for happiness alone. Let me bring traffic warning. That's alone. Let me bring that law. Let me bring the issue of regulatory equals prison. Let me bring the law as transport minister inside under one year. Now, under political affairs, most of what I did there. Under works, it's very interesting. When I came into Ministry of Works, I said, interested only one term day, one law in a saloon, you must have a bank guarantee for let it be a contractor. And most of our local business will not get capacity. Why? It's interesting to know. We own banks then, I have, no, they give a loan bank guarantee. They don't do it. Then they give foreigner or without, the, without prejudice to them, Lebanese or whatever. Saloma won a black man again, they bank guarantee. So I was in my office one day, now they pass the say, Mr. President, if we continue like this, the local entrepreneur will get contracts. Why don't we do the insurance bond, which, which is equivalent, get the same strength bank guarantee? He said, How? I say because if you get a proper insurance company in a saloon, which is reinsured in America or Europe or England, then they give you bond, where the bond flouts, all the insurer outside they give money they approve her. that is why you have the likes of chedeka today get to do road and those are locally funded roads township roads the children are on atlantic abadin now apc maker i was the minister and i mean launcher no maker chedeka in fact something may happen omega bridge so and the england now the contractor call me see call you say hey bra this year so give me problem what you have been one people go right say, now if you get uh, uh, Atlantic and about SE, when I lie, not a middle child, the video is there. So they don't have any friend now, so they can't be contact because the people right time. The people are this time. And the person who right time, he contacts me. Uh, Sylvia Blood, you know, a right liar, he called me, say, Mr. Minister, are you sure? I say, boo, that's in the video. Because I'm declaring as an end one, as well as the toll gates. Oh, I'm the toll gates, come on, course. Come on, course, but tonight, the baby. Because the toll gate, let me know, say, the contract say when they put penny day, then they make come and then they give percentage into and collect as a government. And then after 25 years, then we repair them back to I be fresh, let me give me. Not in Nigeria. So I have done my bit in any service I find myself as a minister, as an MP. Therefore, there is something to show. Let well about the people in saloon, go ask na put local, go ask na Cambia, ask all sides. People that have helped. I don't say my things because why help you? Not for let you pay me, not for Allah, let you pay me. So people have educated, I've given jobs, I've sent abroad. Well, I don't talk about. I'll never name names because I didn't do this, do that for that, for them to give me back a reward. I did that for Almighty Allah to reward me in the hereafter because I'm a rocky man from a poor family of Arabic touch house. Today I'm a, I've been a minister of government, which I want to get at this world. Pass for justify Allah in confidence. But I've seen it all. I've seen poverty, I've seen difficulty, I've seen sickness, I've seen uh, uh, I've seen uh, influence, I've seen everything. So to be grateful now is to serve Allah by making sure the one day we're in our church, let me church, and that's what I want to do for APC. I want to make sure that everybody in Sierra Leone in general, APC in particular, realizes that 
they also have a right to enjoy what they can go enjoy. Let's make the money participate. That's why I want to be a flag bearer. And if I do become a flag bearer, believe you me, it will be a different ball game. It's a different ball game because I am going to win the presidency. Wallah, I will win the presidency because I have confidence in me. I know. First of all, I know it's not about uh, this wire. Sorry to say, but I must be honest with you. Wallah, next time election is the most difficult election as alone. It will be the most difficult than sixty-seven. In fact, why? Because this current regime. They don't kill people there. They don't jail people there. They don't start people at jobs. They believe, say, if they're in class power, they will kill them, then go jail them, they will sack them. So you have to salute the cause from them. So that, that's it. See, that means you have to take the power from them politically, in the box, whatever. You have to get the power from them. They will not let it go. I'm telling you, my brother, because they know what they have done. So therefore, the APC party must bank on democracy to do the job. That's why I think they must consider me as a flag bearer. I'm not the perfect, the best of all, but I can tell you, if I get it, all of us will win. Okay, thank you very much, Honorable Kemosi. Say, I believe say you don't make a thorough case for why the party for elect you for being the flag bearer for the upcoming uh, 2023. And uh, most of the party people them they watch this show live or subsequently get for watch them later. And um, I believe say they will make up their mind, but you don't make a very very good case. Very, very accomplished man. You don't need a parliament, ECOWAS parliament, minister, you know, very, very accomplished. And like what inside that local community, people know what you've done. I mean, it's quite a lot. You know, like what you say no more. Any to they do the drum for God, and you know, that is uh, well understood. And uh, again, Buam, tell people them thank you plenty, plenty within really, the chat room, Mr. Roland Karimu, Mr. Arun Pape, Mr. John Kanu, David um, Bangso, Mr. Augustine. Ganja, Frederick Munu, Frederica, Moses Ben Kanu, Jacqueline W, Kamara, Fatima, um, Conte, Mohamed Yande, Almami, Alusa, Los and Los, and the comments in Pasmak. I know we will read all the comments then. But ladies and gentlemen, I welcome all who comments them. And um, I really, really cherish you now this platform for our constant support all along this platform. Yeah, last year, we got over 100,000 views. And now we get how many um, over 300 videos now on YouTube page. So please, we're going to our YouTube page. We now will see all the interview the most since so long begin interview the aspiring um, presidential candidate and Dr. Samuel Kamara, Dr. Richard Conte, Dr. Amami Petito. Today we have Honorable um, Kemosise and so on and so forth. So all the interview then they then our YouTube page. Now go then and now and we will subscribe. Now subscribe, please. Again, we 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 appreciate you greatly. I know we will read your comments in today. Because the comments and plenty, plenty, and one we get plenty thing for your give, man. Honorable Kemosi say again. Honorable Kemosi say we we really grateful for getting on the platform, and um, you still didn't respond to them. I believe say long way for clarify so many things them where people will be confused about, people will not be know about. But again, going forward, if you're not successful in your bid to become the flag bearer of the APC party. Will you give 100% support to whoever ever emerge as the presidential candidate for the party come the 2020 for the 2023 presidential election? Simple answer. Whosoever is elected credibly as by support. And I've, I've done that before. In 2018 election, I was not a flag bearer. If first of all, thanks to you, Kamara, the selection of the 2018, I'm guilty of that crime. Seriously. Why do I say so? I was very close to President Goma when he chose the person. I tell him, say, Pago choose. Pago choose. You know why I tell him so? Because I was selfish and greedy. I thought because the woman is too close, when I'm a man, we don't come off, I go say, well, come on. I'm not going to make a but I'm going to make it on the meeting. So when I go choose, you not choose me. I was very, eh. This I vexed. I was so angry. I just leave my again. I turn back and I fix up. But guess what? When I came back, me people want me say, hey, this is what you talk about. So now all the panamu, I even tell the past lady issues. So why don't you? What's your problem? Now back to go pull up. Wallahi, go and find out last election what I did there for that past election. I campaigned here. I go Cambia. I spent my own money, my own resources, my own time, everything, going to bushes. Ask them. Ask from my vice presidents. Uh, Victor Fun, I mean, wanted a workout. It left me a bush, you know, 
I campaigned because my conscience was clear. See, now when I look at the problem, why the matter which is why not no votes? But I did so because I thought because my friend were close, were common. He was okay, came up. I don't make you president too, but come here on the meet. So when the so are vexed, I'm not glad you. But what I think I said, mm, you're not part of this crime. So they have to go cleaner. That's how I went to campaign. Unfortunately, no win. So I will support whosoever is elected this time. If I support the one that was selected, I was selected. If I was supporting the one that was selected, what about the one that's going to be elected? I will support him or her hundred percent and make sure we form a team. Okay, thank you very much uh, once more again, um, Honorable Kemosi, because I tell a very, very honest answer. The Honorable Kemosi said, Gisu, instead of not accusing himself, say yes, instead of contributes to what can be happening, I make it effect very, very hard for make sure, say, he supports whoever the candidate was. And uh, the, the, thank you very much for your honesty, because um, many people be tend for uh, um, and blame the former president, but this is not a collective action where people um, give to the former president for they take the action. Day. And again, mm -hmm. where there are plenty of people, um, you're not going to know that person will choose. And I believe, say, of all the consultation the president be do, people will talk to, maybe not make it come to that conclusion, they, they choose that person. Day. And um, it was really unfortunate where some people will not be told they support 100% because when they pass something, you know, it's not and nobody, if not a 10 day, on a 20 day, one person get for emerge as a leader. So one way or the other, it could be you, it could be the next person. So we always get for prepare ourselves. And um, again, that and I will tell you thank you that this platform for your honest answers. Them. I mean, I don't know what to say. You like the, you know, you like the platform because many people they see the honesty when they come up for me, and that is very, very important. Again, on man go one power, on man one waiting and call, but honesty na ain't got leg. You know, and uh mostly, I believe say that will serve you very, very well. Again, now we'll move to the next segment of this interview, Honorable Kemosi. As a potential flag of the APC party, what confidence you will give to the people in the salon? Which confidence will give the people in the salon? Say the people in the salon give the, give the APC party, would I ever then choose for becoming a presidential candidate and give them the opportunity by, by electing them for vote for them for the 2023 election? That the APC party and that person they go able to deliver for the people of Sierra Leone. No, um, Mr. Kamara, again, the APC have done it before. It is a question of say, you know, do I again? The APC have delivered to my own life, lifetime. And they go far. Even with President Koroma, APC deliver. Call it what you may, we have delivered. There are things to show. There was a time in this country, it was called the darkest city in the world. President Kuruma Lightham has promised in 100 days. Now, infrastructure, I am a testimony to that, living testimony to that, about roads, water, energy. These are the basic things. Even the lifestyles of Serenas was different. Believe you me, now, to master the record, now, something all man don't see. Just to tell you that, if we come back to power, we now have seen a lot of things, we are going to do more and more and more. But be rest assured, you know, you don't even go call Marima for can't tell you say and deliver. It's a, it's a done deal. You have seen it through and through. Ab in issue from where they begin saloon country. Now Ibsen will deliver. We are not making promises, fake promises or intentions. We we'll deliver. That is the character of APC. We we'll have the integrity of saying something and doing it. So not of can't tell people say what you go tell them. They're not already. In fact, they're hiding for us. Let's all must be serious and come together. Okay, thank you very much. And again, I make ask back that question because the way the Honorable Kemosi says, so the, the proofs are out there. And um, the last government of um, former president, um, Dr. Anes Baikuma, I think it's over 2,000 kilometers of road network throughout the one old country. And that now, uh, now something will one day up in a saloon, you know, na, na, a massive landmark. And uh, uh, Honorable Kemosi was a minister of works by then, and he himself said, play a critical uh, role for that particular um, development. Scene. But now I'll turn to the next segment, ladies and gentlemen, for, of this particular interview. And that next segment is about the economy. The latest revelation by Mr. Cheng Noba of the African Express that exposed massive corruption in the office of the First Lady and also the, the Chief Minister. So where does this leave the fight against corruption? And what should the parliamentarians then? And also the, 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 
the office, uh, the corruption commission for do now for restore any confidence in the fight against corruption. Mr. Kamara, <clears throat> you see, Salon is unfortunate. This regime will come, take a list first of all, they don't know what to do. Number one, number two, they have no intention to do good things. Number two, why do I say so? Simple. When they came into governance, they said they get GTT, Government Transition Team. Mr. Kamara, transition means come off from this one to this one. Not to so, if that's the case, if you want transition from MPC to MPP, come sit down with the APC minister, talk with them, let him tell you what he didn't get, how he used them, what he left. Simple, simply start, put a voice simple. These guys came, they began after people left. Me and the Ministry of Honor will go there again. Because it's like, they're going to arrest you. But I remember, in 2007, when President Kamau became president, I was already appointed Minister of Transport, and I went to Parliament, I passed through, and I came to the state house, I was not sworn in. As you know, outside, I went to President Kamau, get cabinet meeting with the Minister of Transport, that time, Professor Dupi, because transition had been completed. But these guys ran after us, the, from our offices, ran out of our offices. So I go no child, you get, I go no child left. You came now already with premonition mind say there were an I am at his man then. So Lord Raftara, no Ola. For can't tell me say book, I'm only a minister of works. How much road you don't make, how much money they give for me road? They don't do a move. They say you don't give three million dollars. That's not tell me for so me if I get three million dollars, I don't saloon. They don't know what's the dollar. These guys came with bad intention. They don't know how to do it, they have no intention. You've got a very intention for doing it, but don't ask people what you left. So therefore. They, 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 I don't call myself, but they came in losing. They came in losing already because the normal continuous we, they looked at you as I am peace, criminals. But if you don't have a criminal, give me a fair trial. Ask me for slack, tell you which I don't see. Or let's see what I don't see. You don't do them. They, 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 they hit the ground failing. We're going to say hit the ground running, then hit the ground failing because they start from the wrong steps. Now, having said so, to the uh, Corruption Commission, Mr. Mohammed, you cannot corruptly fight corruption. You cannot. If you corruptly fight corruption, you are corrupt yourself and you cannot do anything anti corrupt. Why do I say so? First of all, let us assume that for the sake of argument, these people are corrupt. So you say that you said Commission of Inquiry. Fine. We all want them. Investigate us. Definitely. But the Constitution says, Construction 149, 150 say, allow me a fair trial. But you can no more para para all you, you native man. How can you investigate me now? I'm guilty before before investigated. And I tell you something. These guys have no invest, interest to 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 to, to cop corruption. Me only talk about uh, office of vice uh, first lady or this, I don't talk about them. It's neither here nor there because I did not expect anything good. I know they were going to fail. They, 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 they came in failing. So I'm going to talk about how they fail. It's because, let's talk about commission of inquiry. Everybody who takes a commission of inquiry is insincere. We have we need it to find out how you, to inquire into what you do in your office. But then, don't corruptly investigate corruption. You will not find results. Ebo, section 50, 150, 150 don't tell you, say, use the rules of court rules. For make rules for you. Is your name Mika? Why you know Mika? Because I make blue pool player on me. Make the rules. Let people get rules them for go by and investigate the ministers, the owner of the Senate mandate. Because you corruptly do one. I don't get uh, the corruption. For example, look at the reports. They are so much fallacious. They have no base to stand. I can tell you, I don't have to be a lawyer to know that. And I'll be specific here. I was not here at the investigation. I did not come on their lawyers. They represented me. Fine and good. Now, you wrote a report, when I launched the book report, I am not called Kemos video. No, I'm not calling this you commit crime. First of all, what's a criminal crime? You have to have a graft in a ministry. You get for no say, when they put an ministry of works, they may get 20 million for me, you eat up. They go investigate that. But you can't like investigate, you don't find out nothing. No. There's no graft in none of the ministry of work. There was none in transport, there was none in political affairs, there is none in the box. I can tell you anybody. All they hold me for and say, okay, Kemos is say, we you we go make like pay one hundred thirty thousand dollars because you sell land once you get out? What's that? This land here, so Mr. Kamara, is a land at Hill Station where government broke me three-story building at Hill Station. Where government give me lease, 
then broken because they want to build Lincoln University. And the law allow that. Section 21 allow government for take property demolition as long as they, 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 they as long as they compensate you for development. Agree. Now they don't give me the other land now. I don't want that. Because actually I want to sell them. They say before you fund the money, they will buy for refund the money, they will buy for go take back completely to them. Does it make sense to you? Absolutely. Does it make sense to anybody? That's rubbish. Number two, they say me the process me host. I didn't know nice when I trace me when I go to that. What happened? They got for documents. Miguel people they do learn not 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 university. What they say is trying to specialize now in, in international law. <coughs> now you go apply for lease of land, then get a lease of land. Now you go pay for building permits, then get a building permit. Now you go pay for freehold, then get a freehold. Now you go pay for governance, then get a governance, so that can governance, piece of justice. Now in the end, they threw through through but I say, well, although not so come to get this host now in gets and blah blah blah, but we go see that for an experiment. Come on. How absurd is that? The law of the land say for property ownership, you get conveyance for us, title for Mutuka, I don't call about uh, lifeguard for Mutuka. So if lifeguard day, title day, I mean conveyance day, <coughs> building permits day, tax day, uh, lease day to somebody in name, why the people can gonna come up on the so they come up for some family for whatever I would say, these people are absurd. That's what I'm talking about. Nine o'clock, I don't know what I'm saying. 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 All I'm saying to you is that all they did is corrupt practice. <laughs> Why you not invite documentary evidence? You should not answer. Now, I put out my appeal for how long? You haven't even called their cases. You never you never put out, you get put out now, this is the Gamba This is the Gamba now. How can you do like that? Except if you don't know what you're doing and you have no intention to correct. That's why you do Otherwise, I can call you that you are out of face. So corruption, believe me, ABC Gawoko, me, I don't see corruption. So President Kromakam is strengthening the Corruption Act and the Corruption Act. They get the power for, for arrest, charge, and make whatever. And me don't see Nami Yai. Every relatives being charged to court by anti-corruption commission, convict them, sign them, then pay. That's what you do. Clean yourself first. But you come here. You say this now, I'm the whole You own post in the under, you the tip, tip, tip. Come on now. What's that? These people, for me, like I said to you, have initial. They don't know how to do it and they don't intend to do it. All they intend to do is, you know, like a bush. What are animal in a bush? What the, the lion don't go kill a, 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 a prey? You know, it's never if you don't go, he left the carcass. Then the vulture come, then around them, come, then the eye in a camp. They all run away. They eat all the carcass. That's what they do. It's not it's nonsensical, my brother. So corruption, APC for come back and take them from Musa and left hand, make sure say nobody is above the law. When they are corrupt, you'll be charged, investigated genuinely, and then you pay the penalty of being corrupt. That's what we have to do. So me not gonna find pleasure for talk about. I don't really expect much. So how would I talk about? I'm not saying get for Ablet, so I'm not saying I say get for Ablet because when they come, the way they come, it will come on. Bro. I know that look you hey, bo, na go and go, you get five motuka. Come on. If somebody gets five motuka, go on for that day, you get your 10 million, you go be you go be woman for it. You go be go by what you got, you laugh for that. These are the issues. These are natural issues, not to not to not to not get size. Hey, you get five hours, you know, Caesar. You would have you get your money and pay your money. Before you go build five hours, you go 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 pay to a woman, you go buy wrong. What do you expect? That is just jealousy and ineptness. Thank you very much. Okay, then thank you very much. And once you what you say for that last question, it was very, very real and salient, and many people will appreciate that greatly. You cannot fight corruption with corruption. The one the purpose of the course then, because uh, corruption has to be honest, transparent, and fair to everybody. And um, I mean, I think the jury is out to that. And people and people and when they watch this program and subsequently get from watch them later, and then say will be the judge. And uh, going forward again, as we almost if uh, approach towards the, the final segment of this particular interview now. We economies, they, they in shambo. I think as a country where they suffer. People they say the country are all things can work no day. We get massive by inflation. If you are fortunate enough to become the flag bearer of the APC party, and subsequently go for the presidential election and win them, what do you go do for rescue this economy from Musa Ide so Thank you, Mr. Kamara. First of all, the economy correctly is in shambles. You know, as I say, ground dry, that the worst. 
First, they go say time tough. They say it's stronger. What well, is the ground right now? Not to what you know. They mean say there is nothing that will make you leave the other day. No, no hope for tomorrow. You know the liberation are available. But again, let me take you back to what I tell you about corruption. I tell them I don't know what they do. They don't understand the issues. When they say ground dry, what do they do? They say they bring bread. They fish in a bread and butter. What they say bread and butter? They fish the actually like buy tapala pa cut and put butter. Then they mean say bring bread and butter. Then they say they can't do bakery. That tells you how much they don't understand the issues. It's not about the creek, uh, 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 tapalapa and butter. It's about your daily, your daily living, your food on the table, and you call daily bread. Then you take and say, bring bakery, uh, bakery then, then make bakery, 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 the shape shape out. That tells you how much you don't understand the issues. Now, the issue here is that the economy is bad. How do you fix it? First of all, you must bring integrity and security in business in the country. Let our man not say, if I bring money can a salon, it was safe. Nobody will say, hey, how much you get a public force? No. And it can be done. Then a security of investors and create an environment wherein there is healthy competition. You know that you they sell based on the quality of products we make. Now you can make it sell more, not based on the support we have or based on the, 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 the amount of energy money we pay. Create an healthy environment for business people to come and compete. First of all, forget about these resources, natural resources. Create a let people and come invest their money, private public partnership, then create a, not a government for employees. Then go employ people there. Because they will come to the business now, and while the environment is healthy, you know, say, no minister no capital and say, if you know you get this so, they will invest. Having said so, when the environment is healthy, create local business people, like ABC was doing, during my time as a minister of works, we create a local people then. We didn't care what your tribe is or what party you support, as far as you as a union, who help you grow. Now, people then say, we're against a lot of money, now we it. Make a secured, secured loan to salon people to develop. How do you do it? When they give you 20 million lion for new business, they don't give you, they give you, you earn. If they money to take 20 million for good bill, uh, uh, or build uh, for a market, and as you go buy a bicycle, they will call a market first because you're not going to do it again for. That's what I'm saying. When they give you a loan, they fall like you to do it. So create local business people, give them the cognitive ability by giving them secured and structured loans. Now, if me and you come and I just go to a commercial bank, Mr. Mami Kamara, talking to you, we'll go ask for money. It will take you months and months, even if you get property, you ask. But guess what? Let us be possible to see that. So, yeah, we will like the gear. That's the problem. We have. What is Abu Uno Sabi? But it's because we have done corrupt ourselves because of selfish and greed. We the give that money because we know say, you know, say, I born. If they kick back, then if you lost safe, you come over here or go to Lebanon. Without prejudice to them, nobody will lie. Why you not give your brother a secure and a monitor? When you create these people into business and then the company flourish, then they apply for government to government employ. You just provide, they pay you tax, you get money. And then also for me, what I'll do is make sure that we provide real own daily bread by making sure we produce with local and stable food in our salon. Very important. If look at Romberia, what are we doing with that? So create a healthy environment, create a bit of competition, healthy competitions, not to favorites, but hey, you know, you money with Illiban say money with big small steps and again. Don't do that. Time will come, you're not going to have to have to get up because everything will become available. Look what's happening in Conakry. Because of the port, I mean, the, the, the post authority, people are bringing their containers to Guinea, bringing the truck, they load them, and kind of fit up. So now we lost because when you bring one container, 20 foot, you can pay 100 million. What did they say? No, it's 50 million. So what did they do? I mean, to, to, to uh, uh, I don't know what I'm Wataki. You go to Guinea three months. You go to one Guinea man. Boka help me bo. He clear I come out. They take one truck. You load up the truck and come back by passana. Balamuya. You go bribe them. They pass the passana. I can't sell things there. Make money. Nagini the benefit. Because we have not created a healthy environment where people compete and then they will profit as a government from the quantity of food they have. We don't fifty container. In the game, even now I'm get fifty million. But if they bring twenty million, they bring two container. Twenty. Now first million they get. Because when they come to Ramunibo, they are busy all the time. They report to the busy all the time. 
all money money, the government money. But you don't say I'm not the pay. But if not 20 million, now not to the camera. So not to the as opposed to 50 million, we not to the camera. So it's about creating an environment, support private public partnership, government to businessman, they can raise the economy. Now, the last term, you talk about inflation. How do we get inflation? It's absurd. In the country, it is frowny, it is hold the money, it is create a budget for the market asset. And therefore, the money will go short, circulation, therefore, you go not a magic. You don't have to go to more. You know, if you look at my Twitter, my tweet of uh, December 28th, you look at no more and my tweet, because what I talk about the, the governor, I tell and say, you know, the 28th of December, what that, that money is, I tweet, they say, you don't have to go from five economy for no city smile, so in a direction of beauty, ineptness. You know? So, therefore, this man, he knows the final thing. You know, you know, how you go call the money, then if you say money for day. So, that's what I'm saying to you, Mr. Kamara. To change the economy, allow the private business to do business, create the environment for them to compete, healthy competition. Don't deserve it. Thank you much, Honorable Kemosi, because we do you highlight one example. We are facing a very, very good example. That portal will get the salon port and avion port because the custom and duties are so expensive. People they actually they ship go to Guinea, London a truck and Canada salon. And again, salon and go lost because where ship they come, we they get, you know, but when I say a quick penny is better than a slow shilling. Well, so definitely, this and uh, many Sierraonians, more of us Sierraonians in diaspora, they wonder why make we own port, we own custom duties so expensive. They even compare to neighboring countries. Say, look at our business, the flourish in Guinea. And I hope and pray that um, you know things will change. But that's one of the big, big handicap. And business the way some kind of flourish, they make like, the economy in like, any country flow. And we see during the previous administration of former president Dr. Daniel by how things will flourish in that country. And I make it say stay um, APC they deliver because many people they talk. Um, you know, and now uh, people not be know on my talk, eh, what to be see and what to be. Completely different. But again, I have a very, very excellent response. We tell you, thank you for that. And again, one of the other key team will watch church by again. As a key member, you have a minister in the previous administration of former president Dr. Ernest Baikouma. When they get Sierra Leone as one of the most peaceful countries in Africa, but nowadays all of you are in a Sonko Sonko, beat people under, I guess people under this, that, this, that. You know, people are asking, what did they go on now with country? Why is all of these things happening? What you say? What I say is, in the regime of President Anes Baikuruma, we had nothing to hide. We knew that Sarelo belonged to all of us. That is why that 10 day, you can talk what you want to talk, what you want to do, we don't care about yourself as long as we're busy. We don't care for produce, we want to develop the country. So we don't get time for beginning to think, wait for post, we don't go shimama, we don't go mix, we don't go oppose, we don't go strike. We don't get time for you. We get time for proving wrong, and we did that. But then Maya, the attention of the government for developing the country left and go begin to look at petty things. We go into people and kill people and visible and afraid. We will not be afraid of them. They can kill all of us one day, but they cannot kill everybody at some some point. You see, the more they kill us, some of them go me again. Nine to kill himself. Let them kill no more. Go see. You don't have to kill us to make a point. What you do is do the right thing for let shame we. If we not even make forty kilometers road, you can make eighty kilometers road. Let them see both. What for can beat beat we? Why they beat you for? If we bring a, a 24 hour light, you bring 48 hour light. Let us say you better pass through. But because they don't get something for do, that's why they find themselves busy integrating people, jailing people, driving people. Because they don't have anything for that. They are here. So for me, there's going to be some customer because they have not the idle. <laughs> Where they go meet uh, ordinary, ordinary journalists, someone go talk something on a key. You go take a button on a cell phone. Huh? Why do you want it? What do you going to do with development? Well, why, 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 why is we are blind in say unatif? No more. Let's share with it, but you should say not if do more. Let's prove my wrong. That's what they call governance. Do something for tell the person, say, me sabi do I able do it. So if you say you go like they will see the result. Now we say ABC bad, ABC bad, ABC bad, but I'm not sure from today for Guna, from here for Guna for no. How many hours? How many hours signal for Guna Kailao? How many hours? So when I'm not to talk about APC, there is now evidential report for telling you say you are lying. But what they're not able to do nothing, and they're not planning for nothing. I mean, they're fighting for nothing for people. You know, sometimes kill people when they eat some And if you, that's the way it takes for begin to formulate crimes, 
formulate investigation, old people, then we can take and for think about. First of all, call us, talk to us. Mr. Minister, where be that works Friday? I manage, say, you get to the road, where you be, say, where they call it, they give money back, say, they prepare the day. That's what they call governance. Ask the possible military, tell you, I'm going to survive. The way can I do pass them, they don't beat them. You hear me? But if it's what you say, and they can't beat them because they don't pass me, you know what's do. That is what is happening. So there will be some cost call because they, are not, they don't get work for you. You go for a $100,000 uh, uh, generator, Kali. Give me the, 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 the hydro. Who na pull up the old president Kormadi, he make I don't pull up all. If you happen to go to the machine commodity, still sometimes life take up. We worry what are they? So I don't care what you think, say, or do. The past say the big light, light don't come. We don't work. So it's not a question of we don't even get time for answer person. Now you make we be busy to work. So some of us go down, my brother, because they hide. They have nothing to do. Therefore, they find something to do by running after people say, hey, you don't have TV, I know. Carly, go do your job. Okay, thank you once more again, Honorable um, Kemosi. Say, and, it, and it shows because during your administration, like we are saying, the, great side, that's the most peaceful country in Africa. And that is very good because it creates a, a convenient climate where potential investors, they go, one can potential investors, not like for going to continue to get so con so And let like continue to get peace and security where all man in, in, in right is expected. And again, um, the devil, I mean, the way they call it south, and I believe say the people that go judge on that issue, that's a very, very critical issues. Again, um, Honorable Kemosi say, one thank you, thank you, plenty, plenty, for we don't take your time, and we don't get a very, very good discussion here so today. But as we effect for wrap up now, many people that they ask that the chat room say, what's in the APC party? Because people they really, really, they look to the APC party as a government in waiting for 2023. You as a key stakeholder at the party, what do we go do for make sure say we na bring all man together? The key stakeholders we all come together. We na make sure say a process of transparency, free and fair election for elects. We na go be the flag bearer and subsequently get all the support where he need so that the question about that election in order for be an easy election 2023. It going to be a very very challenging election. And we know say Africa for pull somebody when I want them. It's never been easy. So you need all the support you could get. So what you not able to do? And what are your suggestions now today? Where before say maybe put you you get to watch this program, go say yes. This idea, where now this idea honorable Kimosi don't put forward. Maybe Lord will look at my law will see what you will do. Now, first of all, I don't care what you possibly think, say or do. Now one person will be president. Only one person. Now one person will be flag with an IPC party. Having said so, if anybody gets fit in Ella, it goes say that God they choose. Therefore, get a competition healthy. What we should do as a party is to close our ranks, come together, believe that if God no mark it be. Now, let me tell you something, Mame. Who does not know that Mother B was a murderer? Who does not know that was a thief? Who does not know that he was a coupist? But God one time, this is a head of state, so I don't call the president. I have my reasons. He's head of state today because God wants to be head of state. But we know. Say they make coup 1992 AM Strasser, then pull Momo, correct? Then he make coup, he pull Strasser, correct? Yeah. Then where he say he thief money, correct? They will not say he kill people, then, correct? But yeah. God wants to be another state instead of state. Therefore, the lesson to we will say, Fed, but not Fed say, Power, power, do or die. If God mark you, it will be. Now, listen, there are people who don't say, I'm the Quran, who say, I'm the Bible. To palm away in a bush, just a different man, the Bible, animals, then call and put a make and king, a god. So, once we get on our brain, let us go for a healthy, credible competition. We are not enemies, we will not be enemies. We are in the same country, we are in the same party. Let us fight like friends. No provoke yourself, say, who gets one group, we laugh and say, what do you provoke yourself? No provoke, say, but I'm between that. That's what they call healthy competition. Because why? We need a presidency, we need a teamwork. We need all man. Whoever becomes president, you don't come So if you don't fight and say you don't kill him, mama, I don't do this now, I go for it. Anyone who do a move. So we must learn that first of all. Now for convince yourself, first of all, one by one, say this year I don't do or die. And also, if I become president, I need chemo. I need this, I need that, I need that. So therefore, don't fight fiercely for kill yourself. No go ahead till it. We don't vote, we don't win, we support him. Why? But if any attempt for bring regular business, they're still in business, we'll bring back the world.
and that will be a problem. So therefore, my advice to me and all is that, that if you want for you, will lie here, nobody can stop it. If you want for you, I don't care what you do, you don't get her. You know? So therefore, work hard, but bear in mind that what is the bigger picture is we are all going to work together about because man get the expertise. There are people in the party who are at, fighting for the president today. Their expertise now for now for talk The other one now economics. The other one now mathematics. The other one now agriculture. But they want consider that the agriculture can become president. You need the agriculturists, you need the scientists, you need all man who now come together and become a president. That's what we need in the country. Okay, thank you very much, Honorable um, Kemosisi. And again, I, I really, really um, welcome your honest response them to them, particular critical questions they ask you. Um, ladies and gentlemen at the chat room, I want to wanna say tomorrow, um, the CEO and founder, one of the key technicians I ask you now, when I'm Mr. Prince Emil Koma will get Emmanuel Ali, Emmanuel Ali in an SAPP operative. So now tune in for that program day tomorrow. Mr. Prince Koma will get Emmanuel Ali. And the next following Saturday, we will get another APC aspirant flag bearer as well. Then we're gonna watch for that breaking news day tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll confirm who that we will get for the next following Saturday. Now this is particular same seat where Honorable Kemosi say this to. And also we'll don't interview um, quite a few now from um, Dr. Samoa Kamara. We don't interview um, Dr. Richard Conte, Dr. Mami Petito Koma, and today now Honorable um, Alaji Kemosi say in turn. And we really, really appreciate them greatly. I mean, the, the response has been remarkable. People, they appreciate you greatly, Honorable Kemosi say. But for round up all this now, we want to give you the opportunity at this particular platform, Yasu. What now your message to the APC grassroots, the APC, uh, the women's them, the diasporas, and so many other organs of the party, we don't see the one for defending the party despite all the challenges them. When in the face, and when they see how they treat them, how they humiliate them, but yet still, it's not put the party. What are you message to them today? Now, to the women of the APC party, what a man does, a woman can do. Not to have BM, work side by side with the man there. And also, forget for things to say with the support man. Let, let us support yourself to the women. That's all I have to tell them. Come on, Ado, and be a, a man. Almighty Allah say mankind. You know, say womankind, a male mankind. He say mankind. We are all mankind. Come up there and compete with the men because I've seen women do what men cannot even do. So the so the the the, the, the youths of the APC party don't allow to be used. You are the future of the party. Make yourself relevant. Make yourself productive. Contribute to the APC development in the bigger picture of the country. So the diaspora, first of all, I was a diaspora myself. I was in America, not in the chair, England, take an Now, I understand the subject we're trying to allude to. It's about it to see. Let me tell you this, Mohammed. Let all diasporas and no say, section 76, one of the constitution, nine talk say, enough for me to see. But guess what? It is not, and it's also the same criteria who call the minister. It's just a minister, you never get to see him. But let me tell you something that's interesting here. I will show you with it. There are government ministers or the who have to see him now, now, now. They are committing crimes. They are not supposed to do that. But let me tell you how to solve that thing. In the terms of MP, it's not entrenched. Not to entrench law for Zipas to make referendum. The 76 were precluded for becoming member of parliament. It's not entrenched. So if they were against sense, then go pull up now from parliament so that their own minister will be exonerated. We'll get to see him. Because they are entrenched under 56. But the 76 for the MP, they're entrenched. So you pull up for MP, automatically, the law in 56 say, for it to become minister, it must be qualified to be a member of parliament. So if member of parliament don't forget, don't forget, don't forget uh, to sim, they also don't qualify. So if they put to sim now, MP qualify, minister qualify, even though it's entrenched. You don't know of course again. But they're not stable, like I can tell you, they know what they do. Now, nobody can change that except parliament. Now, I don't know what Parliament is going to do, but I believe that it's also in their interest to do it. Why do I say so? Believe you me, like I said, up in issue, we need competition. Why do we harness your, your investment in Sierra Leone? Why do we harness your remittance in Sierra Leone? Therefore, come and compete in the country. We have serious doctors. Let me talk about policy number seven. I'm just one of doctors there. So now lawyers, there, so now 
me picking a lawyer. So na, na, na engineers then. Let them come and compete. Forget about this to sim. You know what I refer to sim? No, 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 you will compete. We have feel to say, hey, well, I'm American, you know, I'm a race here, so it's a bit talk that the TV, you know, you get your not to sim, not to sim. But me, I don't feel I don't care. Let them come and let's compete. Let us have a So the you said grassroots, right? Okay, to so the grassroots. For me, these are the people who suffer for the party. And they go sit down from five o'clock in the morning till they go to the Don't vote because of influence. Vote because of conviction. What do I mean? Not vote because the can give you two thousand for Google for them. Vote because you know say if you become member of parliament, minister or president, you they survive, you go survive through creating opportunities for education, food, nutrition, everything. But people then can get for this, ah, no worry, I get grass with them. You get a one bag good for you. Let them be educated. And guess what? Now the world that I found with a with a click of a button, you will know what obtains everywhere in Sierra Leone. That's mercy for the grassroots. Those are the categories, yes. He said, uh, women, yes, yes, diaspora, absolutely. diaspora, the grassroots, okay. and youth. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Honorable Kemose. And again, I mean, we appreciate you greatly. The interview has been remarkable because you don't talk about things in TV. Where plenty of people in social media always confused, get all kind of persuasion, all kind of different, different things about. And today you don't come, you don't take time off your busy schedule, and you don't patient with, you don't iron out, you don't explain them thoroughly. I believe, say, plenty, plenty of Sigalonians will get for watch this particular interview. Subsequently, they say, we'll say, well, at least we don't understand, we don't get uh, another uh, um, um, take from Honorable Kemosi himself. Because to be there, you know, that you say, you say, people they say this, say this, say this, say. Now we don't get that from you. So we appreciate you, great honorable Kemosi. Say, and um, ladies and gentlemen, at the chat room, want to ask plenty, plenty, although the number is so high, <coughs> we'll tell you, thank you, plenty, plenty. But then I never read when I comment and see, because the comments are plenty. If I say I read them, we're not going to get a chance for you from honorable Kemosi. Say, but again, we appreciate you now greatly. We're going to go now YouTube page and subscribe. Tomorrow, get Mr. Mark Ali of the SAPP. Yeah. So please you know, tune in again around the same time. we at 9 p.m. That program will start and 4 p.m. Eastern. So please you know, you know, tune in for that program. And Saturday, you know, watch out for the next flyer because we're going to get somebody else. We're going to take the hot seat for the APC potential aspirants. Then. So, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Sierra Leoneans, they say all good things must come to an end. And people like say, I like net long tete. Don't go most clean. We don't come to the end of this particular interview. We want to all thank you for our contribution that we don't make. We don't make the program successful because of our contribution and our opinions, and what we appreciate on this platform. And also, we want to say special to Honorable Kemosi. We don't come to say one thing where I pick up from is very, very honest. You know, sometimes they politician and they sometimes, you know, when they talk about politics, but in this this man is very, very honest. And one of the key honest answers where he talk now about how they select the last flag bearer, how he says he contributes. And I believe say, people go on to I esteem for that particular honest answer day, despite investments for that particular election day, he says he gap up and points out one of the faults. So, I mean, uh, people um, appreciate him greatly. And again, so all other people who go for watch his program subsequently, Una share and back a lot of plenty of Sierra Leoneans will watch them because this interview has been an it's an eye opener. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Sierra Leoneans, again, we're going for stop now. I know say yes, the people are still plenty, the comment is still plenty, but we're going for stop now as too. Honorable Kemosi, say thank you very much and God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Before I go, if you ask questions about the reports of the investigator of cooking, these are documents. It's a public document. You get all the work about the cooking case from beginning to end. Go and research there. Is go to a bookshop or go to the law officers, they will sell and give you make a notarizer for you. It's here. But tell you, see, there is nothing that has to do with Kemos to say being involved in the cooking case. Once more, thank you very much. And thank you for having me. I hope I've been very useful to your interview. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you very much. And again, family, anybody want to confirm my back the evidence they did. So there's nothing to yeah. idea. I mean, any no arguments, no the evidence is they did any study for the show. So again, I want to thank you very much. And let God bless you all. Thank you. Now the end of it. At the end of this. At the end of the program. Thank you. 
So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, basically, this brings to an end a very, very brilliant interview. This is Superman at his best, firing on all cylinders, touching on almost everything which was necessary to touch on. This has been a Den and Now TNN TV Media Empire production. And me now on a host and present, presenter, Prince Emil Koma. And um, effectively, this bring um, the program itself to an end. And um, I just want for everyone to know, say more programs are coming. And um, on the on Tuesday we get uh, Mr. Fatoma of the CHRDI. So we get for talk about NGOs, business, and then you know waiting and supposed for doing waiting and they do. And um, it's going to be a brilliant interview. So and I don't forget for join the platform as well. So like I say again, it's been a brilliant run of the TNN TV you Media Empire. We're going to have a YouTube page. We're going to subscribe to our page. We're going to also, on our Facebook page, like or follow. Please do. This business, now we're all business. So effectively, we have come to the end of the program. So like I say, this has been a TNN production. To every one of you, much love. Good night and goodbye. Logo. Overlay. Streamyard overlay. <sighs> TNTVN. R0. Add overlay. <laughs>